Are you tired of having money and a stable lifestyle? Well, introducing the worst fucking drug made in history. Do not play this game. I repeat, do not play this game. Save yourself. Run as far as you can. Welcome to Genshin Impact, the world of amazing- Oh, wait, hold up. There's a chest over there. The world of amazing adventure- Oh, shit, hold up. There's a wisp up there. Let's go. The world of amazing adventure, exploration, and discovery. It truly is one of a kind. Just look at this world. Look at the amazing views. It's just so wondrous and magnificent. God damn, isn't it great? Yep. I definitely play this game for the gameplay. For sure. 100% loving this gameplay. But for real though, you there who hasn't actually played the game before might be asking yourself, well, what do you actually do in this game? Well, besides speedrunning your daily commissions, doing long ass quests, wanting to punch Paimon in the face, getting distracted by chests. No, not that type of chest. Well, I mean, that too. Farming artifacts, leveling artifacts, uh, HP, motherfucker. Wasting your resin on things you don't even need, waiting for resin to come back up, and entering your credit card details every time you see some hoochie mama that makes your dick hard. I mean, just look at her. She's pulling out a sword from her tits. Nothing much, really. To be honest, this game kind of sucks. In reality, if you don't actually know, here's what's going on in this game. So first of all, number one thing you need to know, you see this? This right here? It's a fucking lie. Don't believe it. This game made a quarter of a billion dollars in the first month. It is anything but this. Secondly, a lot of grinding. And I mean a fuck ton. But I mean, what RPG game out there doesn't have grinding? Here in this game, in my opinion, the game starts really popping at around A or level 50. And the gameplay is actually kind of fun. You see, you play in a party of four wife I mean people. Each party member equipped with their own set of skills. Whether it be a healer, DPS, ranged DPS, burst mage, crowd control, extremely overpowered, my dick is hard. And they also have a particular element that they're rocking. Sort of like types of Pokemon. So so you got Pyro, which is fire, Anima, which is wind, Geo, which is rock, Electro, which is useless, Cryo, which is ice, and so on. You got a bunch of elements. And so this is where the game gets pretty dank, so uh, bear with me here. What you got to do with all these elements is that you're going to have to combine them together to make these elemental reactions that uh, do uh, special things. So like you can combine Hydro and Electro and it'll apply like a damage over time. Or you can combine Electro with Pyro and it'll cause a big AoE explosion. Boom! Look at that. One of my favorites is Hydro into Pyro which causes vaporize and it does massive damage look at that bam and it can even get crazier so like if you combine mona alt with dillic here check this out you can just go fucking boop so yeah all in all the gameplay is quite fun so it'll keep you occupied you won't really feel like you're just mindlessly grinding i mean unless you're questing oh my fucking god it's so long it's horrifying paimon's voice Shut up! Please make it stop! But hey, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to Genshin Impact, go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty fun and miserable game that you can stick your time or money into. And for those of you guys who already do play Genshin, guys... Help.